Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can easily create a sitemap.xml for your website. Yesterday, I deployed this website on the GoDaddy server using a FileZilla FTP client. I used my host username, password, port number and quick connect this feature. And after that, I go to my the folder of that particular free tools.com and I inserted all the files over here. But I did not upload the sitemap.xml file. So in this video, I will show you how you can easily create a sitemap.xml file and upload it using FTP client. So this is my website. If I go to the website and search for sitemap.xml, it returns an error. 404 file or directly not found. So now I'll show you how you easily you can create this. If you wanted to create a sitemap.xml file uh, using manual process, then you can follow this link called sitemap.org. Here all the description is available into the protocol.html file. Uh, here you can see a sample XML sitemap contains the XML tag and then URL set. This should be available in your sitemap.xml and the URL and what is the location of your website, then last modified, change frequency and priority. And then that's it. This is a simple format. By using this format, you can able to create your sitemap. This is my uh, ASP.NET web application. So for this application, I created this sitemap.xml. You can write it manually or you can create it by using a website called xml.sitemap.com that is free to use let's try that xml.sitemaps.com and then you must have to enter your url over here as i entered http www.thebrazizash.com i created a sitemap for this website manually but you can use this free website tool to create your xml sitemap for you and in, after entering the URL, click on start. It will take a few uh, seconds to create your sitemap.xml. Actually, it has only one root web page. So after this process is completed, you must have to click on view sitemaps detail. And then there are several options available over here. You must have to click on download your XML sitemap file. When it is downloaded, you can see its content. So URL set, this is the information from the URL and here a tag is available that is commented. Means you created this sitemap from the xmlsitemaps.com and as you can see here, this has few tags over here just as mentioned on the sitemap.org, XML information then url set and then url then location then last modify so you can use this tool that is free to use and then export this sitemap.xml and after exporting you can deploy it to your ftp client and and then go to the search console then you must have to open your website whatever the website you are added using the add property and click on crawl then look for sitemaps here you got an option add or text sitemap I did not add that sitemap.xml file to my file location so first I am trying to add it so let's move to the destination where the sitemap.xml file is available. I go there, here is the sitemap.xml file is available. If you download that for from xml.sitemap.com and after that drag this file and drop it to your FileZilla client means under the freetools.com. After a few seconds, the file has been successfully updated and then go back to your website and now try to search it sitemap dot xml and hit enter 
so this is the sitemap.xml and it is now available on freetools.com so go back to your search console and try to test it first so the search console testing and it said test completed you can view the test result it says this website has 15 pages and no error form so now you can close the test and again click on the add or test sitemap and enter the sitemap dot xml over there and click submit so item submitted refresh the page to see the changes when you click on the refresh the page you can see all the information over here so as you can see under the all this contain 15 pages and this is the sitemap.xml that is available and it's showing currently indexed is pending so after a few hours it will be indexed so this is how you can create your sitemap.xml for your ASP.NET web application and upload to your root website using FTP client and after uploading you can provide the sitemap.xml file to your search console by adding the sitemap and that's it and wait for a few hours until the Google will index to your website so this is so simple to create a sitemap.xml file for your ASP.NET web application. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Bye-bye.